Flankatanker video, take one. Hi, I'm Flankatanker, and these are a series of videos about my airsoft weaponry. Today's video is a how to video, and it's going to be based around my SRC XM8. Now, I've had lots and lots of messages on YouTube about the rails that I've had mounted on it. So what I've done for this video is I've removed two of the rails, the underneath one and the one on this side, so I can show you those people who have asked exactly what needs to be done in order to have a set of rails, that's a bottom rail, a left and right rail, like this one, on the XM8. So the first thing I need to do is to go through the tools you're going to need to do the job. So these are the tools you need to do the job. First of all you need a socket that is the correct size for the nut that you're going to put on the bolt and this one is a 7mm. pair of pliers this happens to be a multi-tool set but any pair of pliers will do. Allen keys this allen key is for the rail bolt so it's whatever size rail bolt you have. This allen key is to actually remove the flash hider and as you probably know a lot of um, airsoft uh, replicas have a little allen key driven nut that screws in to hold it in place. Well that's what this one's for. This is a screwdriver. I basically use it as a push tool so I can push bars and anything I need to out from the uh, XM8. This is a reamer. Now all this is is a, it's a reamer with an allen key through it so you can get a good grip of the reamer and that's just to ream your holes once you've drilled them. And here I have, um, happens to be a Black & Decker but it's just a cordless drill with a drill bit. Now the drill bit doesn't really matter because you're going to make the hole as large as you need with the reamer the drill bit is just to start the hole off so a smaller one is quite good because it won't break the plastic as you drill through it. So that's basically the set of tools you need to mount rails on the XM8. It goes without saying that you need a nice open clean work area not full of bits and pieces and rubbish. And I use these little glass containers to hold any bits and pieces that I'm going to be taking off the gun. Now as for the rails themselves, I use these G36C rails. They're six rib rails, standard G36 fittings. They come with the uh, Allen key headed bolt and usually these screw into a fitting already on the weapon but in this case what you need to do is to get a couple of washers and a couple of nuts that will fit onto the bolt so as you can see the washer will go in quite nicely and the nut is the right size for whatever the bolt that comes with your rails and as I've said earlier in my case it's seven millimeters now I have two sets of these. This rail is in fact a very long rail. It used to come out down to here. Um, during my airsoft days I've hacked it off with a hacksaw. I don't know if you can see that. To make it a shorter rail. It's a spare rail I had lying around and I thought as it was slightly longer than the standard six rib rail I'll put it on the bottom of the XM8 and use it for the hang grip. So we're going to put these two on, the XM8, using these tools. So the first thing we've got to do is uh, separate the front section of the XM8 from the rest of the body. Now it's not a hard job. What we do is remove the flash hider. And the way we do that is there's a little Allen key grub under here. Use a small Allen key into the grub screw and loosen it off. It doesn't hurt at this stage to take it all the way out. Don't lose it because it's very small. 
and put it into the uh, little glass jar. Now we've done that, it's very easy to just unscrew the flash hider. Now the next thing we have to do is undo the bottom part here as if we were going to put a battery in it and on the XM8 there's a little pin down here that you just push out, pull the pin out and it opens this up as if we were going to um, put a battery in but we're not. So we've got the flash hider off and we're taking the pin out here as if we're going to put the battery in. Now this pin here, it's a rolled piece of steel, we need to push out and that's what the screwdriver here is for. Because you'll see that the screwdriver will fit in and then you can just push it all the way out. But I'm going to do it from the other side. So here I'm putting the pin in and just applying pressure to push the pin out. And if I turn the gun over, you can now see the pin here, it's sticking out. Use your pliers to grab hold of the pin and remove it completely. Put it in a safe place in the jar so we don't lose it. Now what that's done for us is the pin here is now out, the pin here is out, this whole front section can be pulled forward and away from the main part of the weapon.